Okay, so real quick story time. A couple days ago, I was driving my car, listening to Paramore at six in the morning on my way to the gym. Out of nowhere, whoom, this huge black thing covers my vision and I can't see anymore. Do you want to know what happened? That happened. That happened right there. My hood just flew open on the freeway. Luckily, I wasn't an idiot and didn't like swerve out of the way or do anything dumb. So in order to avoid some crazy misfortune happening again, I've got a very beautiful chauffeur. Get in, loser, we're going to Chick-fil-A. She's uh, chauffeuring me around, but she's very sick. I'm chauffeuring you around, but I'm making you drive. So we're going to Chick-fil-A. I can go right down the street. I figure I'll take my insulin now to get it to start working. And I like wearing ripped jeans, because I can just, you know, easy access. I took my insulin before we were even at Chick-fil-A because I like to take it about 15 to 30 minutes before I eat so that my blood sugar can start to go down. And then when I eat, like all the carbs will catch up and it will stay relatively smooth and I can avoid any blood sugar spikes. Um, I know how many units of insulin to take is because everyone has like an insulin to carb ratio and mine right now seems to be 20 grams of carbs to one unit of insulin. So like if we go out to like chip play or something, I can find it on my fitness pal and easily be like, okay, this, these fries have these many carbs. I can do my insulin like that. But I've gotten pretty good from the last couple of years of like, tracking macros, seeing what's in food, so I can guesstimate if I'm just out at a restaurant. But most of the time we're either making our own food so I can measure and weigh it that way. All right, good morning. It is the next morning. It is Friday morning. Instead of Sam dropping me off in my house, she just made me drive her car home. And now I gotta go pick her up. But that's fine, because I got to drive. Now we're going to the gym. But full disclosure, I actually got to the gym like 10 minutes late today because I had to poop and I couldn't hold it. So when I picked up Sam, I ran inside. And anyway, that meant that I skipped the warm up and I kind of went into getting ready for the workout cold. Do I recommend that? No. Did it happen to me today? Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? The first part of today's workout was an alternating EMOM for 10 minutes. The first part was a 16 calorie row. The second part was 30 seconds max strict pull-ups. No kipping, no butterfly, none of that jazz. Just using raw strength to get as many strict pull-ups as you can. super hard. It was a 10 minute AMRAP, 10 bar facing burpees, 10 front squats at 185 pounds, and then 10 deadlifts. Those front squats drain you. It's super heavy, one, and two, you feel like you can't breathe. So you're you're, you're breathing heavy during the burpees, you can't breathe during the front squats, and then those deadlifts, you just, you know you can do them, but the faster you do them, the faster you go under the burpees, which means the faster you go under the front squats again. It was a huge mental challenge, and when I started the first part, it was kind of like my warm up, and so I was kind of like ramping up, around three and four was when I was like, okay, I feel good now, like I'm ready to like dominate this. Had that mindset going into the second part, and by the end of the second part, it had taken everything out of me. I ended up getting three rounds, 10 burpees, one front squat, and for the last part I had nothing left. So it was like, had this like slow ramp up and then I was like ready to dominate and then I was done.
last part of the workout was a hundred push press with an empty barbell. Um, and if you dropped anywhere outside of front rack or above head, so if you like try to go to the hips or anything like that, that's considered a drop and you have to do five penalty burpees. As far as for my hood, um, it it sucks. Like it's a sucky situation. I'm not happy that it happened. But someone at the church owns a shop, and they said that they're willing to fix the hood for free. The only thing I have to pay for is all the parts. So if I, you know, I pay for the hood, I pay for the the latch, I pay for the hinges, do all that, and then they won't charge any labor on fixing it, and they won't charge any labor on painting it to match my car. So that is a good situation. There is good out of it but I wish that I didn't have to go through any of that anyway. Um, it wasn't an oil change, because I hadn't had an oil change for like two months. Um, I hadn't opened the hood like in a couple weeks, so it just flew open. No recall from Kia, I called Kia, nothing going on there, so there was really nothing I could do. It's not like an insurance claim, it just sucks, but you gotta get through it. It was frustrating me, of course, I was very frustrated about it, but being frustrated doesn't solve anything. Taking the next step is what solves it, even if you don't feel like it and even if it's hard. But anyway, just, I wanna say thank you. Thank you to everyone who supported me on this channel. Thank you to everyone who's followed along on this journey. Someone recently said like, man, it's crazy that you don't have more subscribers and that is a great compliment and I appreciate it. But I know that if I do blow up, Things are gonna be different, right? Things on the channel are different, things change. So while we have this right now, where it's very small, very intimate, I just wanna say I really appreciate it. I really enjoy this season. It's kind of like we're each other's little secret for now. If you do like what I'm doing though, there are a couple ways to support me on this channel. One, I've had a Patreon for a long time, but I don't really like to talk about it because I feel weird asking for money. But I have a Patreon, it's in the link, it's in the bio. It's a dollar buy-in. That's literally all it is. Just to say that you appreciate what I'm doing. And then the second thing, always just support the podcast. We're going to have another launch soon of merchandise. So if you guys are interested in that, that'd be cool. But again, thank you so much. I really appreciate all you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.